Man at Legs, Pseudoarachnia navaronia, arachnorb family. This species of the arachnorb family fuses with machinery at a crucial point in the maturation process, giving it the ability to fire energy bursts from the launcher beneath its orbular torso. However, the Man at Legs itself is not in control of this weapon. Instead, the mechanical portions of its structure appear to automatically acquire and attack targets. The Man at Legs has a gentle disposition, and as a member of the arachnorb species, it has no natural enemies. It is particularly difficult to understand why the species would develop such awesome offensive capabilities, leading to rumors among the scientific community that it was the machinery that approached the arachnorb and proposed the symbiotic relationship. So it actually wasn't trying to kill us. The machinery was, for some reason. Some weird reason. It's almost like it was made by a society that uh, normally destroys nature. Huh. Who'd have thought? Also, this area is not an actual area. Notice that? This this body of water... Uh, if I can move the camera up, there we go. This body of water is not actually in the Valley of Repose. Nothing here is. Did you see that? Literally nothing here is from the Valley of Repose. This is a unique area created just for the Piclopedia. Oh, and the Piclopedia is where you can look at monsters and see bios. I might not have talked about that before. Maybe I did, I don't know. There's also the the, the treasure hoard where I, you can do the same thing, but with treasures. You can even, oh, you can't throw pick, pick carrots at it. I don't know, you can look at stuff. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, that was a tangent. I'm Pal and welcome back to Pikmin 2, good morning. Yesterday, we went to the Valley of Repose, went to the subterranean complex, and defeated the man at legs getting the stellar orb which will allow us to see caves as though they were lit by a solar system which is actually what they are being lit by according to the ship he made an entire sol solar system behind our backs no clue how you can do that but apparently he did this time this morning we're going into the perplexing pool because i have 8155 pocos and i have a plan of which cave I'm going to complete the dead in. Let's land so I can explain that plan to you. So, originally, I planned to complete the debt in the cave of my childhood, which we actually saw in the very first episode we were here. Over by the seesaw blocks, which we used to gain access to the yellow Pikmin, there was a cave, right about, right about here-ish. So, seesaw blocks, cave. And that cave is called the Glutton's Kitchen. And that is, as I said, the cave that I completed the dead in as a child. I was going to do that, but then I decided, you know, that's not very climactic. The final boss in that cave is not that impressive, honestly. It's not really a fight as much as it is just a weird, weird dance. He's a, he's a funny enemy, but he's not, he's not anything particularly impressive. And also, there's another cave at the complete opposite end of the perplexing pool, which has an enemy in it actually crucial to the overarching storyline of all three Pikmin games, or the three that have been released thus far. And so I would like to complete the debt there. Now, this meant that I had to do some really weird math. Also, I'm, I'm taking out these Pikmin in order to get some of the above ground treasures. Kill it! Okay. Uh, what was I, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I had to do some really awkward math, but ultimately, I decided what cave I would like to complete the dead in, and it is that cave, which means we're going to be going to the Citadel of Spiders today, and completing, or, and getting a good start on completing the dead. Okay, let's kill these guys. Did I throw a Pikmin in there? No, okay, I'm good. Alright, Wallywog, it's time to die. Buddy, come on. There you go. Okay, I have a good strategy for defeating these guys. Just get the Pikmin on him. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Just throw the Pikmin right on him. And... Have no deaths. Man, that strategy's so much better. And it honestly defeats it quicker than just rushing it. It's... Uh, a, a commenter actually pointed out how sad it is that throwing, like, one purple Pikmin onto a Wallywog is enough to keep it grounded. 
but swarming it with a squad of 100 is not enough to kill it in one go. And you're right, it is really sad that that, that is the case, but unfortunately it is the case, and so I have to play around it. You guys also wondered why I didn't take purples into the subterranean complex? Um, oh wait, no, it wasn't that. It was another cave that I didn't take purples into. And you were wondering why I didn't do it. And my answer was that I didn't want to feel overpowered. And really, that's that's a good reason. Like, purple Pikmin are are really strong. Like, too strong. They're, they're strong enough that if I take a squad of them around places, I feel like I'm breaking the game or cheating in some way more so if I were, than if I were using a mod or something because it's something that's naturally in the game and so I don't normally take purples anywhere or I, if if there's no real reason to take purples I try not to take purples all right so to explain what I'm doing here I'm trying to get all of the above oh hello hello dwarf bull bears I'm trying to get all of the above ground treasures or the rest of them since my really <laughs> janky math uh, I, it was some odd math that I did, but my really janky math told me that by getting every treasure in both the Citadel of Spiders and the the cave that I mentioned earlier, I will have 9,900 or 9,870 Pocos. I believe that was the math. Now, that is not quite enough. I would be a little bit short, um, and that's counting the above ground treasures. So what I need to do is get, um, is I need to get all the above ground treasures, get all the treasures in both caves, but also collect all the enemies in the caves as treasure, because otherwise I will not have enough. I will be slightly short. What was that, Pikmin? I was just saying, I need to be careful that I don't rush the Pikmin into into the gate. And no sooner did I say that, than did a Pikmin literally trip and throw itself into the gate. Like, I didn't even use the C-Stick. He just tripped and threw himself headfirst into one million volts of a gate. That was so dumb. What was that? Uh, Alright, uh, actually we need some blues here besides what are on this gate because I need to take it take that uh that jar back or that that lid back and then for the rest of the day I think Louie can put the yellows away get some reds and start getting some sprays since sprays are always good to have especially since I'm going to be going in such a dangerous cave soon the Citadel of Spiders isn't that scary that's the cave that we're going into um, today it's not that frightening, but the other cave is. The other cave is definitely one of the more frightening things in Pikmin in general. Which makes sense, because it's so important for the overarching storyline, as I said. Here, you... Oh, never mind. Don't run towards me! That was a dumb decision. Why would they do that? Alright, let's throw the yellows back across, as many as possible, and then rush the rest in. Come on, you guys can swim, just barely. Nice, good job. All right, now, let's get Olimar's crew up on that jar, that lid, sorry, it's not a jar. Just enough. And then Louie, you can take them back and convert them to reds and then get working on sprays. And actually, on the way, I might as well discover this cave since I haven't actually done that yet. My sensors are giving out foreboding signals! These signals could very well mean that this hole is filled with wretched, nasty bugs! Vicious, program terminating bugs! And the hazards, just to make sure, are fire and electricity. Okay, so we'll be needing reds and reds and yellows, no blues, and then probably. I'll take like five whites, I think. And then otherwise, I'll take, let's see, five whites, and then 15 purples? That sounds good. Maybe 20 purples, honestly. All right, but let's grab 30 reds, and then go over to the, to the, whatchamacallit, go over to the, oh, Molly's back, hello. 
We'll go back to the burgeoning spider wart and start getting some berries. Looks like all the enemies have respawned. Yep, looks like all the enemies have respawned. Woo! Almost lost one there. Come on. There you go. I'm so glad that they don't automatically kill a Pikmin if they grab one, like in Pikmin 1. That was that was dumb. That was really dumb. Alright, so now I have reds. If this milk carton could leave... There we go. Kill him before he slides in the water. Also, I'm immune to fire. I keep forgetting that. In post, I keep seeing that I'm avoiding fire attacks when I don't need to. Don't go into the water, please. Awesome. All right. Does the fire bulldox come back? No, I guess he doesn't. I guess he stays away. All right, we got our jar. Now, for the rest of the episode, before I go into the 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 place, the Sidelf spiders. There's my 140. Awesome. It's a pasta sauce lid. I'm going to take Olimar into. Let's see. I can take him into... Where is he? Okay. I'll take him into this water area, defeat some enemies, and try to get the above-ground treasure that's that's over here. I think I, that can be a one-man job. And then I need to avoid the... These are Hermit Cromads. Running at right angles to them. Usually works. Oh, no, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't kill him. Kill him. Nope. He got one. They're faster than I remember. Wow. All right. Now, if I believe uh, the different sizes, this is not something that's read in the manual at all. There we go. If he misses, then he's really slow, and I can just defeat his backside here. Don't quote me on that. There we go. The smaller ones are longer range, and the larger ones are shorter range, if I recall. Once again, this is not something even mentioned in the book or the Piclopedia, but it is something that's easily recognizable as a child. Or maybe it's opposite. Oh, it's opposite. Okay. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, he's dead. All right, you guys. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? You can kindly die. I don't like those things. Okay, there's our cave, which means we're going to have to be taking... There's no way to drain the water here. Which means my crew will have to consist of all blues. Yeah, that's what makes the cave so scary as well. You have to take all blues in there. Come on. There we go. It's terrifying. All right, there's my treasure. Do I even need to play around with these things? These, these levels? Oh, I do. This is from Pikmin 1. You jump up here with a geyser, but there is no geyser anymore. And I can't throw Pikmin up there? Yeah, I can't throw him up there. So what I have to do is... Lower it, that one. Lower this one. There. Okay. Um. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So what I actually have to do, because they're actually different levels, like, physical levels, so if I... How do I do that? Uh, I don't think I have enough time in the day to do this. That's fine, I can do that tomorrow, honestly. Let's just take the rest of this back, grow our blue numbers. This works, actually, I'm fine with that. But it looks like I'll have to be do a little bit of toying around with that to solve it. That's, that's kind of difficult. That's fine, we have time in the day. Alright, let's take these guys back. Put the rest on on the pellet posies, and then have the rest carry Olimar back. Hopefully, nope. There aren't. There are too many for that. All right. So there's actually a ramp right here, which will take us right back to where Louis is. Okay. Okay, Louis. You can get some berries. I don't have enough time to get more than one spray, but that's fine. Make sure there are no spares. They're carrying back stuff. They're carrying back stuff. All right. Louie, what you can do is we can take both squads back, convert them to what we want, and go into the Citadel of Spiders. Honestly, the days aren't as long as I remember. I, I remember as a child having so much time and being able to do whatever I want, but 13 minutes, which is, I believe, I believe that's the, the length of a day, is not enough to do all the stuff that you want to do. Okay, so we'll take them back. 
How many? Oh, and I will get one spray. I'll leave this place with one spray, which is nice. Carry this back too, since it's on the way. I might as well. We're running out of time though. This is going to kind of cut it close. All right. That this looks like a plan. We'll go into the Citadel of Spiders. Put all of our blues away. And this is this is definitely shaping up to be a good day. We got one treasure. But we also got a, a fair amount of Pikmin, some sprays. We paved the way for completing the debt. Okay, is this all? Where, where are the rest? Oh, you. You're slow. Come on. Come on. You can do it. We don't have that much time left, so no pressure. Just take it back. Good job. Good job. You were really slow. I'm sorry. Okay, I need to wait for the numbers to go up. Otherwise, they're just going to sprout them out of the onion. All right. That's our cute. All blues go away. Going to take 50 reds. How many do I have? Uh, I have 30. So we're going to have a total of 50 reds. They're great fighters. Might as well take them. Um, no, wait, that's too many. 50 reds. 40, 30 yellows? Actually, no, we're going to take 40 yellows, 40 reds. And then specialty Pikmin, so 40 reds. Actually, no. No, I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm, I'm kind of indecisive when it comes to these things, but honestly, I don't need that many yellows. That's a little bit insane. All right, so I'll put them away. Take out 15 purples. And five whites. All right, that looks, that looks like a plan. And now at the very end of the day, we're going to go into the Citadel of Spiders, a cave that we have walked past so many times. So many times we've just gone right by this cave. I've never even talked about it, but now I am. Citadel of Spiders, show me what you got. Well, let's try my woodcutter's axe, just because I, I want that sword. Whoa! Okay! Okay! <laughs> I remember when I said that I'm a bit out of my league here? Well, I am! Oh, uh, The beady long legs. An enemy from the entire series, actually. He's kind of the... Whoa, whoa. Careful dance. He's kind of... What do you, what do you want to call him? The...